Science in a nutshell. Fuses. If you fuse, you lose. Oh, funny, you know. Anyway, fuses. Fuses are in plugs, obviously. Look, there's one there. Look, I'm going to circle it using my notation equipment. There we go. 13 amp fuse, part of a plug. Plugs have lots of different parts, which you can learn about in another one of my videos once you've paid for it or whatever, yeah, anyway. Let's learn some more about fuses. Right, fuses, fuses are very simple devices. Look, there's a fuse. It's made of a little resistance wire in the middle, and at the end it's got two conductors, which we call the terminals, okay? So the idea of a fuse is that if too much current goes into an appliance, then it becomes hot and it breaks the circuit. Is that, it does not prevent people from getting electrocuted. Can I make that very clear to you now? Because people always write that in their exams, and it used to drive me crazy. In fact, that's why I left teaching in the first place, because people kept writing the wrong answers in their exams. Fuses do not stop you being electrocuted. And, uh, okay, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm not, I'm t I am trying to stay, I'm calm, I'm calm, I'm calm. Anyway, so that's the idea. So a fuse is there to protect the appliance because if the appliance overheats, they can get damaged. You have to buy a new telly. That would be annoying, wouldn't it? Okay? Or in extreme cases, it could actually overheat and, and cause a fire. It does not explode, okay? That's another thing that people used to write in exams. Used to get right on my nerves, I can tell you. And that's why I had to curtail my career earlier than I intended. Anyway, that's why I'm now working for YouTube. Uh, science Geeks. Um, right, anyway. No, I'm okay. Calm, 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 calm down. Right, okay. So anyway, that's what fuses do. Um, here's a short video without me talking. Um, just learn that stuff, okay? Learn it. And uh, here's a video without me talking for a bit. So I can calm down. So I feel much better now. So people often say to me, Phil, why do we have to learn this? Well, you do, don't you? Because you've got to do an exam on it. Anyway, that's not the point. This is actually useful, okay? So there's lots of things we teach you that aren't useful, like biology and chemistry and um, other subjects like that, okay? But this is actually useful, because one day when you're homeless, because you didn't study for your exams properly, then you might need to actually buy a second-hand appliance and it might have a fuse in it. Now, you need to have a fuse, otherwise it's not going to work. So, here's a handy guide to choosing the right fuse. So, first of all, it'll have a label on. In this case, I think, what? Oh, yeah, I've just read the question. To be honest, I'm not prepared for this properly. Um, it's a vacuum cleaner. Look, there it is. Dyson vacuum cleaner. Hello, Dyson. So, look, there we go. Uh, 1,400 watts. So, the first thing you've got to find is the power of the appliance. Now, that's usually on a label on the back somewhere, okay? Oh, no, that's not right. Oh, that, no, excuse me. Oh, no, I can't work these. I should have had some training before. How do you actually just just do it so it works I can't, I can't actually get anything to work now is it oh, I've got rubber on it now oh come on no this is silly oh there we go okay I've done it now anyway anyway that's got a bit more YouTube watch time anyway so yeah so labels took to the bottom other brands are at Dyson send me a free vacuum cleaner I've just given you some free advertising there hey eh? for the poor teachers who left because of stress anyway once you found the power 
then um, you could nick down to your local fuse shop and there'll be a certain amount of fuses. They don't have every value of fuse. So once you've got the power, you look it up. So here it's 1,400 watts off the label. Then we use this very simple equation, okay? Um, you need to remember the mains. The mains is 230 volts. You need to learn that for your exams, for God's sake. It's not hard, it's a number, 230 volts. Gosh, the number of people get that anyway. So, 130 volts, and then using power equals current times voltage, rearrange it, so therefore current equals power divided by voltage, take the power, divide by the main, 230 volts, and um, you've got 6.1 amps. That's how much current that appliance will draw when you plug it in. So it needs a fuse that can take that amount of current. So, is there a 6.1 amp fuse? Of course there's not a 6.1 amp fuse there. They don't make every type of fuse. I just told you that once, pay attention. That's why I hate teaching kids. They just don't listen. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, so what's the nearest one? Well, one amp's not going to work because six amps will go through. That's going to blow every time. Two amps not going to Five amps not going to work because every time six amps will go through, it'll blow straight away. I'm just going to keep putting fuses in and it won't work. So you've got to go to the next one up. In this case, a 10 amp fuse. Ah, there we are. I think we've got, I think I've, we've done everything I need to really. Okay, so there you go. So what do you need to remember? Huh? You, wake, wake up. Yes. Mains, 230 volts, find the power, divide by 230 volts, that gives you the current, find the nearest fuse above that value, and it'll work. Hey, anyway, that's a useful last lesson. Anyway, I'm going now, I've had enough. There's some questions there. I'm off to the pub. I'm quite stressed, to be honest, after this. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do this again. But what do you mean? You're, oh, well, I'm definitely not going to do it again. I think I've just been sacked. Anyway, look, there's some questions. Uh, be careful, kilowatts, watch out for kilowatts, we're going to circle that as my last act, and you've only got these fuses to choose from. Press pause, I'll be back later, and um, I'll press it, and you know, the answers will come up. So there's plenty there to keep you busy, to try out your new knowledge, or lack of it, if you're listening. If you are listening, go back. And I'm going to be, what? Okay, I'm going to be quiet now. Anyway, good luck with your exams, you'll need it, losers. Uh, I'm not sitting here for much longer. I'm going, um... I'm just going to put the answers up. If you're, if you're not ready, press pause. Because I've got I've had enough, to be honest. I'm going. Well, I'm going to say, say press pause. I don't know how to do it. Oh, gosh. All right, here we go. Here's the answers. Oh, no, that's uh, circling things. Oh, God. No. Here's the answers. Are you... Press pause. Oh, no, I don't know what I'm doing. I never had any training. How do you do this? I can't do it. I can't. Oh, there we go. That's working. Oh, that's easier. I wish I'd known that earlier. Anyway, best of luck. I'm off now. Bye. <laughs> Science in a nutshell. 